discover you. Okay, how you doing? It's Ace here from Skunk and Nancy, as you probably know that, seeing as this is Skunk and Nancy teaching film. Um, up next is Hedonism. I think this is probably our most infamous song, or famous song, I suppose. Um, always a live classic, and uh, kind of usually done towards the end of the evening, and gets a big cheer. Uh, the, the key to Hedonism is the fact that it's uh, it's all barred. The whole song is barred, uh, so it can be a bit of a hand-aching epic. Um, but that's the way it sounds good. So I'm just going to take you through uh, the parts of the song. There's not many parts, and uh, it, it has a modulation at the end as well. But let's start off with the um, introduction and the first verse, okay? Just because you I'm in F here, okay, and it's a kind of an F minor-y kind of thing, so we have an F minor here, but we're taking this finger off, okay, take the little finger off, and I'm going to pick on this one. So that's a slowed down version of the verse. I find it very hard to explain what's going on. I think you just need to look at it um, and figure it out, uh, slow it down, stop it or something, but it's all about the movement. Um, the clarity is big, is in having a really good barring technique of holding it still. The normal speed is somewhere around about this. <laughs> Basically, uh, the introduction, the first verse, second verse are more or less the same part, but the only thing difference is there's a few different hammer-ons. So, um, in the in the in the first verse, the hammer-on is like that. Okay. In the second verse, the hammer-on will be. Okay, so for instance, the second verse would be... Okay, so that's basically the, the, the main gist of the verse and the chorus. Uh, the, the two verses, should I say, and the introduction. Just because you... It doesn't make you right. Oh no. Just because you feel Okay, so the chorus is on hedonism. Slightly distorted sound. On the recordings we have like uh, acoustic guitars kind of chugging and you know pulling on and off, but for the live version um, I tend to just play one guitar and this is the part. So I'm up here for the verse, okay, in my F. Okay, I drop backwards to a D sharp. Fact, let me take a little bit of distortion off. So I start on the D sharp. So basically, I'm uh, on there on an A, an A sharp major, down to an F minor. Back up to a G sharp major. So the progression. Very 
simple progression and then obviously back to your F for the main verse. Just because you Okay, so after the uh, second chorus, we go into the middle eight where we have a, a guitar solo, which is basically an envelope filter um, playing a barred section, okay? Um, and it's moving up for like a modulated up, up a tone, okay? Um, uh, I'm going to play this with a wah wah pedal, but when I normally play it, it's an auto filter kind of wah, okay? So here it is. So basically, we move up to the G. Um, bar here and we do this <laughs> okay so that's the solo I'll play it slower for you as well There you go. So you can do it with a wah if you feel like it, or you can do it with a dot envelope filter, which is the original sound of that solo. Just because you Okay, so once we've done this solo section the next thing to come is actually a modulation so we're moving up one tone okay so the old chorus started in D sharp okay so I'm going into F for my tone move up okay so into C major G minor A sharp major okay That's the modulated chorus. Just because you thing in the song after the modulated chorus would be the modulated outro okay and for that <clears throat> since we start in F we just move up there we go to the G okay do the same part but repeat it without any trills or hammer offs or anything like that so <laughs> Hedonism. <laughs> 